if you've ever had a student email you uh, and not tell you which online section they're in or perhaps click on an email link in Blackboard and have it not properly launch their email application uh, or even uh, had them email you from their personal email and get it stuck in the spam filter, this video is for you. So what I've done is add a contact information area to the course menu over here that's got some neat features in it. Uh, and the first thing I did was actually go up and add a divider so I separate the contact information from the rest of the menu here. Uh, and then the next item down uh, that says contact information is a subheader. So that's this right here. And then you can add uh, several different links. This is actually a web link and I titled it with my name uh, but it can actually link out to anywhere you want. In my case it actually links to my uh, bio page and one of the reasons you'd want to do this is because you want to link to a page that uh, allows you to do more than the uh, contact tool does within Blackboard. Uh, and the other reason I do this is so that students can access my contact information even if they can't get into Blackboard here. So uh, I create the web link and then you want to make sure that you uh, have that web link open in a new window. And then when students click on that link, in this case uh, I see uh, my contact information, uh, my office hours, and anything else I want to add to that HTML page uh, will open in a new window. The next link here has my office location, but it's actually another web link. And in my case, um, I'm linking to a PDF map of campus that shows where my office would be located. Uh, but you can have it be to Google Maps or anything you'd like. The next one is the, the way I've uh, directed students to go to the uh, email form inside of Blackboard here. So it appears to be my email address, but actually... Uh, what I did was I created a um, course link and browse to the email tool and even drill down into send email all instructor users. So I clicked on that, made it available to, to users, and then I just changed the name to say uh, gbrand at grcc.edu. So it looks like an email link, uh, but when students click on it, here's what they actually get. They get the form in Blackboard, pre-populated with my email address, and they put their subject in here and their text, and when they submit this, it's sent from their student email, and the subject contains information about which course it came from, so that's really helpful. And then just because an, an extra thing here, um, I added a uh, social network link here. This is actually just a content area. And uh, in that content area, you could actually go in and um, add uh, image tags if you want to. And that is uh, a link to just a content area I call Twitter. And within that content area, I actually added... Um, a Twitter mashup which is a new tool so I created an item and I just happened to call it at gbrand because that's my um, Twitter name and then what you want to do is go down to the uh, mashup tool quick Twitter feed uh, you can put in your username if you want all your tweets to show up in the content area you just hit submit uh, in my case, I actually use a common Twitter tag for this course uh, and then submit it. You can limit the number of tweets that show up if you'd like. But then when you submit that, uh, you have a page that has your profile picture from Twitter. You can customize it like I did here. And then your tweets will show up, all of them, or uh, depending on what hashtag. In this case, you can see my hashtags are uh, here. And when students click on it, it actually uh, takes them to my uh, Twitter page.